started my business based out of India. I always wanted to give something back. I always tell people that going to India is, is going to be a love-hate thing. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. There is no middle ground. But if you love it, you will embrace it with all your heart and you won't look back and it will change you. You will come back different. The work the Miracle Foundation does is absolutely necessary. When you're in the train stations, when you're in the bus stations, when you're just traveling around, especially in the big cities, it's very, very harsh to see you know, children who have been maimed or they've got some kind of disease, and it's, it's very sad. The kids that get to go to, to, to be a part of the Miracle Foundation and, and live in one of the orphanages have a tremendous advantage. They get to go to school, they get good nutrition, they're clean, they're healthy, they're checked by doctors on a regular basis. Kids in the train stations don't get any of that. They have to survive and live hand, hand to mouth from day to day. I was afraid to go because I thought the poverty would affect me so much. But finally I just decided to bite the bullet and I went. And I found it to be one of the most joyful experiences that I'd had. I had this swarm of kids that, that came around me and this one little boy came up to me and said, how do you do? And um, from that moment on, I just, I just was in the moment. They're smiling, they're giggly, and they're, um, they're very radiant. I just felt like my heart just totally opened up while I was there. We do get so wrapped up in our day-to-day -day lives, and so many of us make excuses. Oh, we don't have the time, we don't have the money, uh, we don't have the energy, we have a family to take care of. But life is about making difficult decisions and, and doing things that are that are outside your comfort level and if you're sitting at home and wondering if you should do this just do it I mean it, what's the worst that can happen you know you, you're on a plane for 14 hours and you uh, you don't like the country and you're hot and you don't enjoy the kids I mean there's no chance of that happening just that little impact you have. You give them hope, you give them understanding that there's more possibilities than just what they're, what they're born with. You can feel that they know you're caring about them. That's something that melts my heart every time. My original mission in getting involved with the Miracle Foundation was to have a, a medical opportunity that had continuity. You're really doing medical care directly. You're basically practicing medicine without the red tape. It's a long trip, but it's not a difficult trip. It's, uh, it's a country where um, there's a sort of a code of ethics among the people that they, you are a god in their country. They take care of you. I, I feel safe when I travel, so that's a number one. When you um, get to the orphanage, there are, there's something for everybody. If you're a teacher, you're going to find a teaching opportunity. If you are you know, a mother, you're going to have an opportunity to be a mother um, to the kids. And so there's, always, there's something for everyone. They kind of get to see what we're like, American teenagers are like. You know, I'll tell them that I go to high school and that I'm going to go to college and that I have, you know, that I would like want to be, have a job when I grow up and everything. And they see that we're dreaming things like that and that we believe that we can do things like that and it makes them believe it too. It's like, I guess, humbling because these kids, you meet them and they're all so happy, happier than a lot of people I know here who have money and cars. Before you get to the orphanage and you go on the streets of India and just like, see the hundreds of people that aren't being helped and it's just so hard hoping anyway that eventually like in like years that there won't be as many kids on that street and stuff um i think that's like what gets me through what made me feel comfortable was that there was not a specific religion or belief really respected that there wasn't a, as i say a particular religion pushed on these children just a lot of love from a lot of different people. I had a game of badminton with a couple of the kids and, and other girls want to comb your hair and put makeup on. I think a lot of people think that you go to a place like that, you're giving, 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 and it's all about them, but actually you get back something that will never leave you. The Miracle Foundation gives you hope, you know, at the end of the day that you pray and hope that, I mean, I know you can't save 25 million children or orphans or but it's one orphan at a time <laughs>